Also, these students have gone through a lot this year, losing five former and current classmates since the start of 2021, but they've stayed strong by sticking together. Austin East Soccer is celebrating its seniors tonight over at Regal Stadium at UT, and that's where we find Six Sports Jordan Kramer. So Jordan, for many reasons, this season has been really unlike any other for the Roadrunners, and tonight, just their ninth game on the field. Yeah, Bo, the Roadrunners have really navigated through just in an unimaginable time following the tragedies that have occurred within the Austin East community over the last few months. And when I met with the team on Monday, they talked about having to stop and start their season as a result of those tragedies and what that's meant to them. But they also talked about how this group has banded together and become stronger through just a very adverse time. Once it clears your is it ain't start, make sure you shuffle left. If Jonathan Netherland had created a game plan for his life when graduating high school, coaching soccer would not have been listed, even as a backup plan. Life's a journey. The older you get, the more you realize that. When the girls team at Austin East needed an assistant coach, he began to volunteer his time to his community. Turn that ball, pass it to the next person in life. Quickly found out I wanted to make it into a career. So I just began studying and, uh, and just fortunate that the administrators here uh, felt like I was a good fit to lead the boys once um, that vacancy came over. But no book, no amount of studying could prepare him for this season. One person is now dead and an officer injured during a shooting that happened at Austin East High School. This year has been like a really rough year, like so many deaths and everything happening. This has been hard, just, you know, because nobody should really go through that. Netherland had to learn how to lead a group of men through one of the toughest seasons of their life. It's just been a day-by-day -day approach. Um, I've developed more as a nurturer this year than I've, I have ever in my entire life. Hey, this is a little bit of control chaos, so tight dribbling. Their conversations this season extend past the pitch. The conversations have been real. They have been raw. They've been open. Um, we've talked about our feelings. We've talked about our, th th what their parents are feeling. They follow their conversations with action. Spearheaded by one of the players, the Roadrunners wear different colored paint on their cheeks each game to raise awareness about the trauma that various forms of violence can inflict on the youth. Like many teams have different meanings of it. So I was just like, why don't we have our own meaning to it? Just you know, represent Austin East. Could have been overwhelming for them. Uh, they could have, you know, thought, let me just think about soccer, but they wanted to be involved. They wanted to stay connected with the community. No one has a game plan for how to handle tragedy. And though they bring their struggles with them on the pitch, each time they're there, they just get to be kids playing the game they love. You gotta kind of get away from it a little bit. So it just gives me something to do and stuff to look forward to. It's like a therapy session to them. I think they get to like relieve everything that's inside of them and just have fun for a minute. Oh, me, hey, on three, one, two, three. Hey. Hey. Truly such an impressive young group of men. And when I talked with Coach Netherland about the decision following the most recent tragedy that has occurred within the AE community to play that night, their scheduled game against Carter, he said it was a decision they made because they wanted to band together and they wanted to make a statement. They wanted to show that this Austin East soccer team that is practicing on the pitch behind me fights against adversity and that they are AE strong. They won that game that night eight to nothing, certainly proving that point. Lori.